to discuss about the ll1 parser ll1 parser so this ll1 parser as we discussed in the last case that when we discuss about the top down parser then the top down parsers are of two type number one top down parser with backtracking the example was recursive descent parser and second one is a top down parser without backtracking and the example is predictive parser which is ll1 parser or you can say non recursive descent parser so initially in the in this video i'm just going to give you an introduction about the ll1 parser and ll1 parsing algorithm but in the next video we are going to see how do we actually parse using the ll1 parser so whatever i'm going to write in this video note note them now down in your notebooks step by step number one in case of ll1 parser we don't use backtracking we don't use backtracking back tracking okay and the second point is it is not recursive procedure the ll1 parser is not a recursive pro procedure is not recursive procedure recursive procedure okay and here we use a structure like this we have a stack where uh, we store the temporary data there is a stack we have L l1 parser this is representing the l1 parser this is representing the input buffer and this is representing the l1 parsing table okay so we have all these things let me this represent it like this okay so this is representing the ll1 parser this one is representing the input buffer and this one is representing the ll1 parsing table l1 parsing table okay so here you can see uh, uh, I'm saying there are uh, I, I can also represent this them by number. This is number one. This is number two, and this is number three. We are going to discuss them one by one. See this L1 parser take the help of this parsing table to parse it, and it reads the input from the input buffer. Okay, and this is L1 parsing table uh, which work on this. Okay, and every input buffer in input buffer every string will be end. We are going to end it by dollar. Okay, so this is the L1 parsing table algorithm. Uh, LL1 parsing algorithms is like this. Uh, if x is the top of stack, is the top of stack, and a is a look ahead symbol. Small a is a look ahead symbol. Look ahead symbol. Okay, that means if inside the stack we have a x variable which is inside the top of the stack and in this uh, input buffer we are seeing a symbol a okay now you can break it into steps like this number one if this x is equal to a that means this x is equal to look ahead symbol and which is equal to dollar that means we have successfully completed uh, complete the parsing so it is successful completion of parsing successful completion of parsing okay number two if this x is equal to a which is not equal to dollar that means then we are going to pop then pop top of stack then pop top of stack and increment and increment the input pointer then increment the input pointer and the third step is if x is a variable if x is a variable and and we are going to create a table for m for m comma x comma a is equal to x then which is equal to u v w some production this is x in determines u v w is some kind of production then then we replace x then we replace x by u v w by reverse order by reverse order i'll tell you what all these things step by step okay so you can check if x is in top of the stack and uh it's okay let me first of all let me write the step number four also it is saying if m of x comma a is equal to blank then there's an error then there's an error 
okay now for this one we are going to take the help of the ll1 parsing table to parse uh, for through ll1 parser we have to take the help of ll ll1 parsing table okay now you do one thing write down all these points in your notebook and then i'm going to explain this algorithm step by step but to explain this algorithm step by step first of all we need to uh, know how to create this ll1 parsing table if we can create this ll1 parsing table then only we will be able to do this l1 parsing okay then only we'll be able to do this error one parsing fine so now let us take an example of a grammar and let us see how to create an error one parsing table from this 